Today we're going to be making prison apple pies. So we've got our apples, we've got cookies that are the closest that I could find to prison commissary cookies. We've got cinnamon that would have been stolen out of the kitchen, some butter that would have been brought out of the kitchen, peanut butter, a plate that we're actually going to cook the pie in, and a couple bowls for cooking, and some water. The first thing we have to do is we have to scrape or peel the uh, apples and only lazy people leave the skin on the apples, and it used to always bother me when I would see guys make pies and not do that, because it's like, you're going to do something, you're going to put a, a product into place, might as well take some care in it. Um, and so Billy turned me on to this hustle when I was at Buckingham. I thought he was crazy, because I was like, dude, there's no way a bunch of people are going to give us their apples in the chow hall, and then pay for us to give them back to them when they're cooked. It's exactly what happened. Um, it's almost like if you go to a farm... And they give you all the food, you cook it, and then they pay you, and then you have extras left over. Like, the end of pretty much every night, we ate an apple pie ourselves to the point where we were sick of them. We didn't want them anymore. Um, we also just, we had a good, honest hustle because everybody appreciated it. Like, the kitchen guys would bring us extra stuff. People would give us extra stuff. It was just, again, it was an honest hustle. It was something that uh, wasn't going to get somebody in trouble. It wasn't going to get somebody strung out. It wasn't going to create problems. It was just a way to provide for people. So, always felt good to do. And I got to say, they were pretty tasty. So once we get the apple peeled, we're just going to peel chunks or break chunks off. Doesn't matter exactly what they are. And we would have been doing all this with a spork, like a plastic uh, prison spoon. But I couldn't find one out here, so I'm just using a regular spoon. But otherwise, I'm trying to keep everything as like period and, and location correct as possible. Because, you know, it's a lot easier to just stick it in the oven. But not exactly how it works. Now that we have all our apples peeled and chunked, we're going to apply a liberal dose of butter. And really, you need a lot. The more you put, probably the better. And then we're going to apply a liberal dose of cinnamon. And it was actually in a container similar to this. So they had these, um, uh, you could buy garlic, uh, what is it, garlic powder and onion powder. We would take those and then fill them up with cinnamon and then take the label off and pretend that we didn't have a bunch of contraband cinnamon from the kitchen. But by doing that, we're now ready to cook. We're going to stick it in the microwave for two minutes, and then once it's done, we're going to take it out, stir it, and put it in for another two minutes. We got our apples cooked, and they're ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and make the crust and the icing. So I'm going to take each cookie out. I'm going to scrape the cream in its bowl. Eventually, I'm going to stick these in the bag, but for now, I'm just going to lay them to make it easier. And we tried a bunch of different things with this. What we found is the cream from the cookie, peanut butter, and butter are what icing is all about. It was always funny because we would get special requests. Like most of the time, we use these things called duplex cookies or peanut butter cookies. The duplex just had vanilla cream, peanut butter cookies had you know peanut butter flavor, and people would come up with crazy stuff. Or they'd find special cookies, or they you know special buy Oreos because we get maybe this many cookies for like eighty six cents. The Oreos were what are they like sixty cents for uh, six cookies or something. So it was always amazing when people cared enough to buy you know five packs of Oreos. You make twenty seven cents an hour. That's a lot of hours of work for those Oreos, but guys wanted what they wanted. We were glad to provide, and we did big special things. Like sometimes we would do um, like birthday uh, pies or birthday cakes, or we would do special you know recipes. Sometimes if we had bananas in the chapel. They were a lot harder to get because the apples weren't very good. Like a lot of times they were kind of like crab apples, like you know uh, feed apples. So people didn't want them. But every now and then we'd get bananas, and people would special order that, and we'd either have to pay for the bananas or we'd have to have, tell the person like, look, you got to come up with your own bananas. And then we'll be glad to, uh, you know, make the pie for you. Man, some of those were, like, the best I've ever had. We did strawberry a couple times. Uh, yeah, just let me know there are uh, not too many limits on the options. We have all our cookies together. We're in the bag. So we're going to take these and crush them up and make them as fine a dust or uh, whatever is possible. And we've got all our icing right here. We're going to use that to make the icing for the cake or for the pie. Um, it's just a process. Usually we would use, like, a soda or something to kind of crush them. It also depended. We didn't usually have Ziploc bags because you weren't allowed to have sealed bags, but then they sold you coffee in sealed bags. So we would use coffee bags or uh, rice bags or something along those lines. It just takes time. Just got to sit here and kind of beat it up for a while. But once you get that dust, like I said, we're going to add water. We're going to turn it into a dough. And we're going to have uh, the crust for our pie. We do that dough. The icing, we go ahead and add a little bit of butter. I'm going to add some peanut butter, and then I'm going to mix it up and add a little bit of water and sometimes add, uh, uh, excuse me, add heat, like stick it in the microwave, because that just helps it ease up, and actually we're going to do that at the end so that we can label it or uh, apply it the best way possible. 
Basically, we're just going to get here, mix all this up, add just a drop or two of water, and go from there. Now that we have our dough mixed up, we're going to stick it in the microwave in the bag for 30 seconds. And cook this and let it cool. I'm going to go ahead and just open the plastic so I can get into this. And uh, normally we'd use a razor blade, but again, it's weird the things you have in prison you just don't think about, you know, not having on the street, but I have a beard, so I don't shave, so I don't have a razor in the house. Apparently I don't have a sharp knife either. But yeah. Strangely, this is one of those things that actually goes a lot better with the razor blade. Who knew prison was better at some things? Now it's getting all jacked up, but you get the idea. We've got this here. Now it doesn't look exactly perfect. I'm going to take it. I'm going to fold it right on top. And obviously this is not going as smoothly as we would have hoped, right? But it's kind of like a pie. Like you can let it sit over and then just cut them off. But all I'm really trying to do is get an even coverage on the top. Press that down in there. And then we're going to stick it in the microwave one more time so it's not going to matter. But it's, while the pie is cooking, we go ahead and take our icing, load it into this plastic bag, and use it as like a pipe bed or whatever it's called. They put a uh, icing on cakes. So you can just smear it on top, but especially with the crust, unless you get it just right to where it's really, really hard, it won't smear very well. So you end up just kind of smearing the crust and the icing around. I guess this is a reminder that in prison, it's really about what it tastes like and not about the. Uh, quality of the food or the quality of the presentation but we still did our best what I forgot to do is normally I leave a couple crushed up cookies but don't put water in them so that I can put those on top and make like a crumble because it gives it a different texture now that it's cooked all we have left to do is put a little garnish so we're gonna go ahead and put some uh, icing on and then we're gonna use the same spoon we used to eat it